Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I am your host, Lewis Carlin. Thanks for joining me today. On January 16th, Impact Wrestling presents Hard to Kill on pay-per-view. One of the matches will be an X-Division title match as champion Manic defense against former champions Rohit Raju and Chris Bay. I had the pleasure of speaking with Rohit Raju as we discussed this huge match at Hard to Kill as well as other topics. But unfortunately, in the world of podcasting, technical difficulties do happen and for some reason the site that i was using did not start recording the podcast until rohit raju started answering the first question so i'm going to read the first question and then we're going to go right into rohit raju so the first question to rohit raju was you have a huge opportunity at hard to kill to regain the x division title against champion manic and former champion chris bay your thoughts on the huge match and how are you preparing and what is your strategy for this match? I'm really mentally trying to prepare. I've been in the gym nonstop. I've been doing cardio, trying to make sure I can hang with these guys. And uh, it sucks because I haven't had been able to do um, get in the ring because of obviously all the restrictions going on right now. But I just honestly have been preparing, watching a lot of tape, studying, trying to figure out new things to do and kind of spice it up a little bit and just put in some work on the 16th and regain my exhibition championship belt. All right, man. Uh, so it's a good bet. Actually, it's a good bet that Manic and TJP are the same person. Um, now, TJP wasn't supposed to get a title shot as long as you were champion. Are you going to – what's what's the um, what's the strategy? Are you, is part of your strategy trying to unmask Manic during the match? And are you taking any steps to maybe prove that Manic is TJ, TJP prior to the match? Well, well, TJ is pretty much already, you know, let the cat out of the bag that he is. Uh, manic, you know what I mean? It's his alter ego. They're one and the same. So yeah, we get it. He got the he 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 had the little loophole, and he you know got the belt as somebody else under a different persona. So it is what it is. Unmasking him in the ring would be satisfaction just to unmask him, just to humiliate him. That'd be fantastic. Uh, my main goal is we all know Chris Bay has something cooking. He thinks he's slick. He's gonna try to invest me and get his belt back, yada, yada, yada. My main thing is getting the belt back to the person that made it relevant last year, who is me, and the person that does not, that does more of a championship belt than anyone has done in the past few years, me, Rohit Raju. So, yeah, I mean, it's fine. He can play this little game of he's manic, and that's how he got the belt, and he's, he's you know, TJP, we all know, we all know the game, we'll all get to it, it's all, it's all out in the open, so I'm just concentrating on getting back what's mine. Okay, do you, do you feel you can trust Chris Bay going in? Uh, I know you, you're too chance. serious. It's all, every man for himself. Chris Bay uh, thinks he's slick. He already said Tuesday that we're not even, we're not even until he gets the exhibition belt back around his waist. We all know who we're, each person is going in there for one thing. That's the exhibition championship, but it started out this way, and it's going to end this way. But it started out with me winning the belt, and it's going to end the same way with me winning the belt. Okay, okay. Now, now Scott Demore. Let's talk about Scott Demore for a second. He actually planted the idea of Manic into the head of TJP uh, some time ago by referencing Dusty Rhodes, or aka the Midnight Rider. Do you hold Scott Demore responsible at all for for this whole TJP Manix uh, mystery situation? Of course, of course I do. He hasn't, Scott. I know you're listening to this right now. He hasn't returned my phone calls. He won't open the door when I'm at his door. He's been ducking and dodging. He doesn't want to deal with me. He didn't want to deal with me when I was champion. I'm not the poster boy for the X division because I'm not a flippy guy, even though it's supposed to be no limit. They didn't want me to have that belt, especially Scott Demore. None of them wanted Rohit Raju to be the X division champion. They wanted me to be bottom of the barrel. That's all they wanted. Well, I proved them wrong. I plotted and schemed, and I got the X division championship belt, and they kept throwing all these people at me. And it was Scott Demore that created the Bounce of Glory matchup where he put five other competitors against me and tried to take away my title. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? I out-hustled them all at Bounce of Glory. TJ, he caught me slipping. That's fine. Uh, but, of course, Hard to Kill is right around the corner, so you know, you already know I'm going to be two steps ahead. But, yeah, I totally fooled Scott Demore 
he, he holds a huge chunk of the blame for me losing my belt. A huge chunk. Hands down. Okay. I, I just want to point out, we were talking about Hard to Kill. Um, also on January 16th, uh, Impact Wrestling, uh, the second virtual um, Hard to Kill uh, celebration, uh, virtual fan fest, um, starting at 11 a.m. Also on January 16th, lots of Impact talent scheduled to appear. Um, if you're listening right now, head on over to impactwrestling.com for full details, but hurry up because space is limited. Uh, I just want to ask you on Twitter, you're still referring to yourself as the exhibition champion. Do you feel that you're still the real champion? Oh, did I not change my Twitter bio? I, th- I thought maybe because of the whole um, the whole mystery uh, thing that you still uh, refer to yourself as the X Division champion. You still feel that I you're mean, the champion. I mean, I, I'm, I'm slowly coming to terms with it, if that's what you mean. I, I get it. My main focus right now is just regaining that I should be X Division champion, uh, obviously, because obviously it's TJP. We all know that, which I think is a load of crap. But it is what it is. I have to... I can't hold on to that anymore. Obviously, things are moving along. Things are moving forward. I have to move forward. And I just have to regain my belt. Uh, I mean, come on. Let's face it. It it was a joke that I didn't get X-Division Star of the Year. Okay. Even Ace Austin said it himself. He was barely in the X-Division for uh, 2020. I'm the one that made it relevant. I brought excitement back to the X-Division. I brought something different to the X-Division. Well, I mean, the X Division title, it should be with me. It should have, I should have never lost it under such uh, screwy circumstances. I should still be the champion. I am not trying to refer myself as a champion. I, you know, sometimes I may slip and that may happen because I do, in my heart of hearts, believe I should be champion. Right now, the main goal, regain the title on the 16th and put everything back on track. So if you do win the X-Division Championship, uh, do regain the X-Division title, I should say, are you going to bring back the Defeat Rohit Challenge? Because I, I was a big fan of that. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll let things die down. You know, you can't give people too much of a great thing because then it becomes oversaturated and they get tired of it. But I know the fans are, are wanting, they're savoring, they're, they need the Defeat Rohit Challenge. So maybe, maybe, maybe when I get my belt back, I'll just, you know, line up some challenges here and there. Maybe I'll have to take a vacation. Me and the belt will go to Hawaii and just hang out for a little bit. Get some Mai Tais on the beach. Because I think I deserve it. <laughs> After all the crap that <laughs> this company has put me through, I think I deserve some type of rest and relaxation with a little buddy by my side. But, yeah, you know what? Maybe after that, maybe we'll bring back the Defeat Rohit Challenge. No Manic, no TJP, no Suicides, no Pumas, no CJs, no... Al Bombardo, whatever, whatever he all calls himself, nothing. Nothing with that man's DNA can get in the ring and challenge me for the activated title. I'm going to put that when I win the belt. That's going to be part of all stipulations of the people he challenged. Well, you really, you really miss having that belt around your shoulder, don't you? I, of course. You, you had... I mean, have, have you seen it on social media anywhere? No. What is Manning doing with it? Nothing. Nothing. He's, he's doing absolutely nothing with it. You know, what did Chris Bay do with it when he was champion? Nothing. He didn't have the belt. He, he didn't look cool. He wasn't doing cool things with the title. He wasn't playing video games with it. He wasn't cooking. No, none of these guys were. None of them were as entertaining as I was with the X Division Championship belt. And that is a fact. All their lame little fans can try to dispute that. Management can try to dispute that. But it's a fact. Nobody was more entertaining with that X Division Championship belt than Rohit Raju. Undisputed fact. Uh, I, I do have to admit, you were very, very entertaining with the title, and um, I, I, you are my pick to win uh, that that exhibition title match at Hard to Kill, and uh, I do hope uh, you do get that title back, man. And so, bottom line is, you feel you're gonna get. Bottom line is, you feel you're gonna get that title back, correct? I know I'm gonna get that title back. It has to be. There's nobody better. There's nobody more deserving, and there's no one that's gonna do more with it than me. Okay, no. fair enough, man. Fair enough. So let's uh, let's switch subjects. Uh, AEW Impact Wrestling a partnership right now. Your thoughts on the partnership and your thoughts on Kenny Omega kind of invading Impact Wrestling right now? Uh, I think it's cool as far as getting eyes on both promotions. It's awesome. I mean, as a kid, I always only thought of you know crossover events between wrestling promotions and I always thought that was huge and that was always there's tons of dream matches there 
Kenny Omega obviously is a tremendous, tremendous professional wrestler, one of the best in the world. So I think it's pretty cool that he's there doing his thing, or I should say here doing uh, doing his thing. Um, the only thing I, I would like to talk to Kenny Omega about is video games, to be honest, pick his brain about that. So <laughs> I know he's a huge okay. gamer. Um, but no, I, I hope it continues. I would really love to get in the ring with Sting, obviously, if you ever pay attention to my Twitter. That's like one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So I would really love to get in the ring with the Stinger. Darby Allen's another one. It's Sonny Kiss. And then uh, tell Tony Khan, you know what? I, I, was, I was harping on Tony about his haircut. But since Scott has been giving me the cold shoulder, I think I'd like to buddy up to Tony Khan and, and just tell him what a great job he's doing and how wonderful his hair is. And uh, his glasses, I mean, the, the New Year's glasses, wow, what a touch. What a class act. What a leader. What a leader. I bet you he doesn't try and screw his uh, wrestlers out of title matches or out of title belts. I bet you he doesn't do that at all. Now, now, now. Now you, you mentioned Sting. I know um, when you when you had the title when the Rohi, uh, defeat Rohit challenge was going on, uh, you um, you mentioned that you hope that Sting would have answered the last um, defeat Rohit challenge. What would you have done if Sting had come down and, and answered that challenge? I would have been super excited. I would have been a kid all over again, and then I would have dropped. Exactly where he stood <laughs> and pinned him at the center of that ring, and then I would have shook his hand afterwards and took a picture with him and asked for an autograph. And then I would have given him an autograph because I'd still be up to be the champion, and I just whooped him in the center of the ring. Wow, what a moment it would have been for Stank in the ring with me, huh? That would have been fantastic, man. That would have been hey, fantastic. Hey, let him know. Get the word out. Get the word out to the stinger. Okay, we'll do, man. As soon as we're done, I'll give him a phone call. As soon as we're done here. Oh, yeah, you um, do that for me. Okay. So how would you rate yourself against past X Division champions? And do you have a dream X Division match against anybody that's ever been in the X Division? I think AJ Styles. He was always okay. the X Division guy to me. There's been a tremendous amount of wrestlers. Some of the best in the world have held this belt. Um, I think AJ Styles would be a guy that I would love to be in the ring with and just learn from and wrestle. Because, you know, he's a man. He's one of the world, hands down. So I think that's really cool. And he, his legacy and impact is just so huge. I think it'd be awesome. I think currently, current roster, Rich Swan. I really want to get in the ring with Rich Swan, whether he has that belt, the world title, or I have the exhibition title, or neither of us has anything. I just want to get in the ring with him. I think uh, there's something there. And as far as rating myself, I honestly, when I see a lot of fans say this stuff, well, he's not X Division. Uh, his in ring moveset is burp, 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 burp. like, shut up, man. Nobody cares. I don't want to be a flippy guy. I don't want to be those guys that you see. Uh, like, you, like, I think it's cool. I think it's great that guys are so athletic nowadays and they can do all these cool moves. I don't want to. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to win by the theory. And I want to be able to talk on the microphone because guess what? I have a better promo than almost anybody on the roster and almost anybody in any promotion. I'll kill you on the mic. That's just that's how it is. And you guys couldn't touch me. And so I bring that. I bring uh, uh, what I would call something more memorable in the character work and the persona. And my in-ring work, it's fine. It speaks for itself. I enjoy what I do. Um, I don't need to do what everybody else does. I want to be like everybody else. So cool. That's what I bring. And I don't know how I would rate myself. I mean, if I rated myself, I'd be number one. That because I, you know, bring something that no one else has ever brought, and that's personality. But uh, yeah, I, I just I don't want to be like the stereotypical X Division champion where I have to be wrestling a certain way. It is no limit, and I'm going to bring my spin on it and my take. If you have a problem with it, who cares? Because I sure as hell don't. I'm still going to wrestle the way I want, talk the way I want, walk the way I want, because that is my name. All right, man. You, 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 we're running short on time here. Uh, you mentioned uh, pro, um, that you cut a great promo. Uh, can we close this interview out with you cutting a promo on Manic and Chris Bay? I'm a big fan of you cutting promos, and I would love to hear right now you cutting a promo on the Hard to Kill match against Manic and Chris Bay, and uh, then we'll wrap it up. Manic, a.k.a. TJP, you were plotting and scheming. You got one up on me. 
Chris Bay, you got one up on me by getting into this match. Was I should have seen it coming, but no, I was too selfish, and all I wanted to do was unmask that moron and get my belt back. But that's fine. That's fine, because when it's all said and done, I will get my belt back. The 16th of January, it's coming right up next week. Hard to tell. Rohit Raju, greatest exhibition champion in this lifetime, will regain what is rightfully his, and then is mine. X Division Championship belt. Why? Because it belongs around my way. I deserve to be the champion, and I have done more for that belt than any other wrestler in the world today. So therefore, I got a game plan. I'm going to be two steps ahead. And you're looking at the Mocha Skin Manimal, and you're looking at the future, or I should say listening to, the future two-time X Division Champion, Doha Rohit Raju. That was fantastic, man. Well, Rohit, uh, I just want to say good luck uh, January 16th at Hard to Kill in that huge match. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today. It was an absolute pleasure, and I hope we get to do this again and again uh, real soon. Good talking to you, brother. Same here, man. Well, this has been Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Again, we're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.